Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be part one of my end of the year 2020 pickups video. This portion will only include stuff from November. Now, the reason why there's going to be any Christmas stuff, or this is not going to be one giant Christmas video, is because I'm still waiting on a few things to arrive. I have a few eBay packages that I'm waiting for, as well as a Christmas package from a friend. Now, my plan is I'm going to shoot that video on Thursday. So whatever comes from eBay between now and then will be included in that video. Whatever doesn't will be pushed to January. Now, as far as my friend's package is concerned, um, when that arrives, I will be doing its own separate video. You know, thank you, you know, basically saying thank you. This is what he got me, blah, 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 all that. However, if it happens to show up before Thursday, not only will I be doing its not only will I be doing its own separate video, I'll be including it in the Christmas video as well. So it just depends on when it, you know, shows up. So with that little explanation out of the way, uh, I got a nice little nice little stack of stuff to show you guys. So uh, let's get started. First for the Nintendo Switch, I picked up Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Um, it's a Warriors game, so if you've played those before, you know what to expect. Um, this one, I'm really am enjoying a lot. Um, I'm about two and a half, three hours into it, give or take. Um, had much time to play it because it's the last two weeks, along the last two months have been fucking crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot so far. Um, uh... I know there's, it's, it's basically a prequel to Breath of the Wild, basically. Um, I do know that there's some kind of time travel guffin thing, and the ending, I guess, has some people divided. But I haven't beaten it yet, so I obviously can't, you know, talk about that. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm mainly playing as Link, mainly, because it's Link. But I have played as a little bit of Imp as Impa, Zelda, and I think her name is... I can't pronounce her name. It's, I played as Link, Zelda, Impa, and her. The, uh, the uh, Zora, is that the species name? Zora, the Zora princess, I played as her so far. But, uh, so I'm, I just usually just stick to Link. But, uh, so far, I'm doing it. Um, I am curious if there's going to be any DLC for this game. Uh, just because I know the first game had DLC. But, uh, I, it's hard to tell if this will, be, like, get any just because it's, it's so tied to Breath of the Wild, but, uh, but excuse me, it's uh, Nintendo, so who the fuck knows? But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Next uh, few games come from Limited Run. Now, I've been waiting for these games to show up for a long fucking time. Basically the whole year, pretty much. Um, I ordered these back in March and April, I believe. And I finally got them in November. It took a long time. Usually it only takes like two months, like three at the max, usually, with limited run. Usually. Uh, but I finally got them. And uh, the first game is the Panzer Dragoon Remake. Um, this I'm looking, very looking forward to playing this because I have the original on my Saturn. And I'm looking forward to uh, comparing them, comparing, the book, comparing both of them. Um, the reason why this one took so long is because, uh, not long after, I would say COVID, COVID really fucked everything up for the whole, year, the whole world, basically, for the year, but, uh, besides COVID, the main reason why this took so long was because, uh, not long after it was released on the eShop, the developers put out a patch that included, uh, gyro controls, I believe, a uh, more stable frame rate, and, like, an extra chapter, or extra chapter or two. So they wanted that patch on the cartridge. So I understand, you know, pushing, you know, delaying it for that. But yeah, it just took fucking forever. But uh, I'm looking forward to playing it for sure. Um, I do know that Megapixel Studios, who developed it, um, they're looking to do a remake of Panzer Dragoon 2 and Saga, which would be great. Um, I would love to play Saga. I would love them to do Saga. I don't know if it's going to happen because... Uh, Sega unfortunately lost a lot of the code for Saga, so it's if, if they do it, it's gonna be like a, from the ground up remake. So who knows? But yeah, looking forward to playing that for sure. 
It would be really cool if they did do Saga because I would love to play it. And I would love not to pay $1,000 plus for it. But, uh, yeah. Moving on, uh, the, this last uh, couple games from Limited Run, or it's a uh, dual pack. And this one, I'm not sure why it took so long, to be honest. I mean, it, it wasn't delayed for like a particular patch or anything, to my knowledge. It's just the fact that uh, Limited Run had this listed on their on website as being on deck for a good, like, it had to be close to two months. I don't know why, because when they have a game listed as being on deck, it means that they're going to be. It means it's in the warehouse and it's going to be going out for shipment soon. I don't know. It, it seems like COVID really fucked everybody up, like hardcore this year, which sucks. But it's. I finally have it after months upon months of waiting, and that is the Star Wars Jedi Knight Two Jedi Outcast and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy dual pack. It's a lot of Jedi. Good God. But yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and these games are a lot of fun. I really did enjoy them when I was younger. They do feel a little outdated by today's standards, but they're still fun. So, yeah, I wanted to pick this up. And what's cool is that um, I follow one of the guys from a bit of run on Twitter. I can't remember if he's, like, the main guy or if he's just with, for one partner or what. I can't remember. But uh, he tweeted out, like, a few, like, it was, like, last week or week before last, that their 2020, uh, or 2020, their 2021, excuse me, uh, like, release schedule is going to make a lot of people happy, which sounds really cool. And I'm hoping that um, there is a KOTOR 1 and 2 release on Switch in that release schedule, because the guys who did this, who did these games, uh, Spire, they did KOTOR 1 and 2 for cell phones. They released KOTOR 1 on cell phones, or mobile, excuse me, like, I know it was a while ago, it had to be like a good, like, three or four years ago, maybe even longer, and they just released KOTOR 2, so I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty easy to, uh, port over, so if they announce a, a KOTOR collection for Switch, I'm buying that day one, uh, I want those games on Switch, so badly, but yeah, for now, this will do, but, I, but these games are good too. But the KOTOR series is like, hands down, my favorite, my favorite uh, Star Wars games, like, period. So, but yeah. Next, uh, some PS4 games. First, I picked up uh, Neo 2. Uh, this was my only Black Friday slash Cyber Monday pickup. Um, I was going to pick up uh, Code Vein and Death Stranding as well, but my GameStop didn't have those in. So I figured, okay, I'll just get Neo 2. And I just picked it up, it's 10 bucks, brand new. Um, I haven't played any of it yet because I'm still like halfway through the first game, I think. Um, so I am looking forward to playing this eventually. However, I may not, pl I mean, I might not keep this copy. Uh, excuse me. Um, the reason why I say that is because a friend of mine told me that a supposedly a complete version is coming in like February. It has all the DLC, so if that comes out, I'll just trade this copy towards that. I don't care. It was ten bucks. I'm not sweating it. But yeah, Neo Two. At least for now, it's in the collection. Next, I picked up near Automata. Uh, this is the Game of the Yorha edition, basically Game of the Year edition. Um, I've heard very good things about this game. I just, I just never had a chance to pick it up till now. Um, I haven't played it yet. I did play the demo when it came out, and I liked the demo. I thought it was fun. Um, but I'm not going to play this just yet, only because the remake of the first game is coming out, I think, in February. So I'm going to get that, play that first, and then play this. But looking forward to it. But like I said, from what I remember from the demo, it was pretty fun. So, and it was cheap. So if you have the option of getting that version or the regular vanilla version, Pick it up if you haven't played it already. It's, from what I've heard, it's very fun. <sighs> Last game I got here, um, I picked up Mortal Shell. Now, Mortal Shell is basically a soul, it is a Souls-like game. And from the very get-go, the more I heard about it, the more I saw trailers, the more I heard, you know, watched gameplay reviews, etc. It looked very interesting. And don't get me wrong, 
I do like the Souls games. I really do. But like most people, I have a love-hate relationship with the Souls games. But this one just sounds very interesting to what you can do. You basically you basically play, from what I remember exactly, I, I could be off a little bit here, but from what I remember, you're basically playing as this, not you're kind of parasite, kind of, but you come across these different shells that you can inhabit, and that is you carry. You know, that's basically your character, and as you progress through the world, you come across other shells that you can like kind of transfer over to, to get you know better stats, better weapons, etc. So that just sounded very intriguing to me. So when it came out physically, I wanted to buy it and support the developers. So I bought it brand new on day one when it came out for thirty bucks. So uh, if you're a big Souls fan and you're kind of on the fence about this game, check it out for sure. Um, I, I believe it was on sale recently for the uh, for the holidays for like fifteen bucks. So and it, it is on PS4, uh, Xbox One, and PC. So. Yeah. Next, got a couple Xbox One games here. Uh, this first game, it was cheap, so I picked it up. And that is Battlefield V. Um, I've heard very mixed things about it. Um, I wasn't even really, that, to be honest, paying much attention about all the drama surrounding this game when it, when it was, uh, came out, the trailers and all that. Uh, I think people were just pissed because I'm probably 100% wrong on this, but I don't care. That's how much that's how little I paid attention. I know a lot of people were pissed off because you were playing as a woman during World War II with a prosthetic. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I know people love the Battlefield games for their accuracy and all that, but come on, it's a video game. Who gives a shit? I don't. I just want a good story campaign game to play, and I'll be happy. So, it was cheap, so... I gotta finish uh, Battlefield f 4 first, and I'm almost done with Hardline, so once I finish those two, I'll pop in Battlefield 5, but yeah, um, looking forward to playing it, but yeah, I don't care about the drama surrounding it, to be honest, like I said, I just want a, a decent campaign, that's all I want, that's all I want in any, like, Battlefield or Call of Duty, give me a nice, a decent campaign, I'll be happy for a few hours, that's it, but yeah. Uh, last Xbox One game I got here, picked up the Assassin's Creed Valhalla uh, Gold Edition. This is the Steelbook Season Pass. Um, I'm about 15-ish hours into it so far. I'm taking my time with it, you know, getting everything that I can. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I am. But uh, I have to say, so far, like I said, I haven't progressed that far in the story, so I obviously can't talk too much about that. But so far, I think, I have to say, I kind of, ra I'd rather, I'd rather, pref I, <sighs> so far, I prefer Odyssey, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, not to say this game's bad. It's not so far, from what I've played it so far. I just kind of prefer Odyssey. But maybe that'll change once I finish the game. Like I said, I'm only, a, I'm only like 15 hours in, and yeah, that's a lot, but for a game like this, it's, that's not a lot, a lot. But uh, yeah. So far, I am enjoying it, but like I said, I think I still prefer Odyssey. But that feeling could change once I finish it. Who knows? And finally, the last thing I got here is I got a movie, and I was it was it's gonna be weird how I explain this, but uh, got Batman: Death in the Family. Now, this is an interactive movie. It basically takes the first part of that story. And kind of combines it with Under the Red Hood, the movie that came out like in 2008. And if you don't watch this, like if you don't, if you watch this digitally, which is how my dad and I watched it, it's basically like a half an hour recap of Under the Red Hood, basically. And that was very disappointing because with this being interactive, you can choose certain things. Like you can choose whether Robin dies, and I assume if you choose that, that. Uh, that action, uh, it plays out like normal and plays out like under the red, basically plays under the red hood, basically. But then you have the option of Batman saving Robin and how that uh, plays out. And then when we're Robin uh, survives, he cheats death. So I think in order to fully 
experience this movie, you have to basically uh, watch it as, uh, actually watch it and do the interactive thing. So, and that was just disappointing, to be honest. Because it would have been better if, it would have been, I think, better if, um, when they did uh, The Dark Knight Returns animated movie, they did part one and part two. I think if they did this as basically saying this is part one to Under the Red, Under the Red Hood, that probably would have been better instead of an interactive movie, in my opinion. So, it, like I said, I, it was okay, but I would have preferred if they just set it up as like, this This is in the same universe as Under the Red Hood, same animation, same all that, but this is basically part one. But, so, other than that, it was okay. And it's a shame, because the DC animated movies are a lot, are really good. Really, really good. Even some of the even some of the lackluster ones are still pretty damn decent. So, but uh, that's it. That is all my pickups for November for part one of this end of the year 2020 pickups video. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please stick around for part two. Hopefully coming around Thursday. Hopefully. So uh, with that said, uh, please comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the future with a, another video soon.